five, four, three, two. I'm, sh I'm quite sure this must happen in France all the time. You are so upset about what, what's on TV that you want to just put your th foot right through the TV. You want to shoot it with a gun or some other, other thing. Now in the United States, we suffered from having too few channels and therefore uh, a restrictive... In the 70s. In the 70s, it was a, res a restrictive clamp on, on the amount of information that's available for the, through your TV. Well, we've, we've come up with a ver for the perfect solution, and that is to have a mass smashing of the entire medium of television. Uh, we designed it, we, we designed our, our presentation to, um, to use the, 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 the most the other American symbol of, of, of commerce, the automobile, and the current symbol of commerce, the television, as a conflict of, of arts and ideas. Um, we modified um, a Cadillac, 59 Cadillac LBR, it's convertible as a, as, a, as a projection vehicle by putting the, um, an impact shield over the astronaut drivers. We have um, large, uh, we have large protective bubbles to protect them during the flight. We have a, a video recorder to record the moment. We also have a built-in TV camera and closed circuit network in order for the drivers to see where they are going. So they are using TV to smash TV. Here we show a, um, a, a scene that was done before the act. but. Uh, has some of the truth to it. Doug did a drawing of the Media Burn Impact Cadillac on the stand, in the reviewing stand, has the, uh, the general public around here and the press covering the, the incident. During Media Burn, we invited the press to come and interpret what we did. We did not tell them anything. There were, there were, there were no press releases. We gave them, we, we let them buy a program for a dollar that said, essentially that this was auto-absolution of the, of the TV spirit. You can there see... There were no press releases? The, well, there, there, was sort of a, there was sort of a press invitation, but there yeah. wasn't really, it says, uh, the press release said nothing about why we were doing this. Um, what did it say? Hold for release. This is a press release. Oh, that is a press release. And for media burn. Okay, but read that. Happen. It's not a, a, set, a sensational daredevil stunt, but it was in a way. But so. But it, a way of alternating, al altering the frustration. Okay. Or alleviating the frustration. Alleviating of the frustration of watching television in America. It's not open to the pub public, but members of the print and electronic media must show official media burn press pass to gain admittance to the staging area. Early responses indicate that Media Burn will receive wide press coverage as art and culture happening. No local publicity prior to the event on July 4, 1975. So that was written in our. That's part of the well, contract. It could be said it, to have the tongue in the cheek, but this is, was sent to the television and other media outlets. And they responded, and we sent them the press pass, and they actually wore, they came, showed up as wearing as, their press passes. As badges, yes. And so it made them, a, they, they, were, they were allowed to get inside the, the, the critical area. And uh, while they were in the critical area, pe there were people from, from Ant Farm trying to interview them. So there was this, it, uh, an interesting turn of events. And some people said, well, I don't give interviews. Like, you can hear what I have to say on my nightly news show. And, uh, and uh, it was very difficult to break the mold that, that most uh, uh, broadcast journalists had on their jobs. However, we did record, and you can see, we can record the, the reactions and the, essentially that July 4th in America is a slow news day because um, there, there usually isn't very much happening. So they have to invent uh, uh, little featurettes and this definitely was a featurette that they had to essentially enjoy by themselves. Hey, there the, in is fact, the here's the artist, artist president, president on the wall, <laughs> giving the media burn speech. Every media event has a local politician to add substance, and we resurrected John F. Kennedy, who gave a rousing media burn speech, warning of the, the dangers of, of corporate entanglement 
media entang entanglement and military entanglement. Even though he had been dead for a few years at that point in time. But he, he still delivered quite a good speech. Oh. <laughs> and that was a prelude to the, uh, the uh, artist dummies. And yes. you, were, you were one of the yeah, artist dummies. I was one of the artist dummies in the, in the media burn car. So this was, this was his send off. This is the blessing. Like, um, like Thomas Jefferson blessing Lewis and Clark before they went to the unknown territory of the western part of the United States. And um, after, after Media Burn, we participated in President Kennedy's reassassination, a recreation in Dallas of, of, of the, um, essentially of the Zapruder, Zapruder film called the, the, uh, uh, the Eternal Frame, which you may see here at FRAC. And what about the, colli the collision between the, the TV and the car? Yes. How was it? Yes, uh, it was to, to destroy the, the two media all together and to make a very mediatic picture. Yes. Well, this yeah. is, as, as the president said, yeah. this image here, this crea image created here will never be forgotten. Yeah. And, and, uh, it and it's an image that essentially yes, was formed as not only as a, as a video, but also as a very a still, which has become a favorite postcard. Um, and unlike, un, unlike most deliberate impacts, this one was welcomed by, its, by uh, its watchers. As soon as the car went by, people came up and started smashing all the TVs that did not get <laughs> flattened by the car. And so we knew that it was a people's event at the time. Uh, a collision of two icons of American culture, the automobile and the television set, which were each one competing to be the central icon of the consumerist society. Uh, so in that sense, it was appropriate to bring them together. And, and then there were only three TV channels, but now we have too many channels. Yeah, we have so too many channels. Now you'd have to do the opposite. You'd have to implode <laughs> the TVs. <laughs> I don't know. I, as if out of a black hole, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Maybe compress them. The, the joining of channels rather than a, a separating of them. <laughs> right. Yes.